Nasa's Nibiru system are becoming much more intense. We are in an ever-increased geophysical shift of the poles, which can be seen in an ongoing Earth wobble. This, in effect, is giving rise to ever greater Earth changes. To understand how much Earth wobble has progressed in recent years, we need to look at the horizons of the Earth as a giant clock. So if you look directly due north, that would be 12 o'clock, east would be 3, west would be 9, and south would be 6. Before 2000, the sun rose at the 4 o'clock position and set at the 8 o'clock position. Starting in 2005, the sun rose at the 3 position and set at the 9 position. The sunrise-sunset positions progressed still further north until in 2014, the sunrise position was at 1.30 and the sunset position was at 10.30. In 2015, the summer sunset positions dropped back just a bit. Coincidentally, the position of the sun at high noon at the summer solstice, which is June 21st, also changed. The sun at high noon on the summer solstice used to be in central Mexico. In 2005, it crept north until it was in central United States. By 2014, it had reached the U.S.-Canadian border. That's about a 2,000-mile stretch. In 2015, it dropped further south again. As of 2016, the sun's position was at around 41 degrees north latitude. Now, this position could change yet again. All this abnormal sunrise, sunset, and high noon positions are due to the earth wobble and a shifting of the geophysical poles. Now the big event, the flip of the poles at the tipping point, is yet to happen. As this phenomenon increases steadily as the Nemesis Nibiru system advances on our location, earth changes will increase and intensify dramatically. Researchers predict that Planet X, Nibiru, comes directly between the Sun and the Earth. It will position itself right on the ecliptic and will therefore cause a great solar eclipse. Here are some important questions that require our attention if we are to fully understand this planetary system. Is Planet X, Nibiru, Planet 9, ready to show itself in 2017? And if so, what will it bring with it? Are Nemesis and Nibiru hiding behind the sun? Will Planet X bring a pole shift? With so many people wondering about other world affairs and not looking to the sky, could Planet X already be showing itself? In January 2015, Bob Fletcher predicted that martial law would be invoked in the U.S. within six months of the worldwide naked eye observations of objects in the Planet X system. NASA, the Pentagon, and the CIA are knowledgeable of the approaching rogue planet. The Vatican has also been briefed, but the public is being obviously misinformed about the approaching apocalypse. What the public has not been told is that the decade-long litany of global geological and meteorological calamities is caused by Planet X provoked solar excitations. Before leaving office, President Obama gave a speech on global warming and signed an executive order to prepare for space weather events. In his proclamation, he acknowledged the real possibility of an end-of-life-as-we-know-it event taking shape on the planet. Again, we must ask ourselves, why was this said and what could be achieved by making such a statement? The evidence to support this is overwhelming. What's happening on Earth is an indicator of this. Dozens of volcanoes erupting at the same time. The number and intensity of earthquakes dramatically rising. The elite hurriedly constructing safety bunkers while the rest of us are kept in the dark so as not to create pandemonium. Storm systems multiplying in type intensity and size. 
giant sinkholes and cracks appearing in the Earth's crust, heat waves that are stronger and lasting longer. Events are now in place that will pave the way for the great event to take place. Disasters will worsen as Planet X nears its gravitational loop around rendezvous with our Sun. NASA's own documents named the massive object Planet X even before it had been sighted by the infrared astronomical satellite. Astrologists, ex-government officials, political insiders are all saying the same thing. Something ominous is on its way. The world is sinking deeper into chaos. We do not have to be told this by the mainstream media. We can see it for ourselves. Moral degradation and corruption are leading to the collapse of society and civilization. The earth is prime for cleansing. This has happened before, and it is very close to happening again. The signs of its imminent approach can be seen everywhere. It can only be accomplished through the wrecking ball of civilization, the incoming Nibiru nemesis system. People everywhere are sensing something is about to happen even if they can't quite grasp what it may be. NASA must sense that the public is increasingly aware that something other than global warming is behind the mysterious and sudden changes that are taking place here on Earth. Since they can no longer keep their secrets from being known by others, why not pass the responsibility of announcing its existence onto the public themselves? Let those in the public mainstream be the ones to locate its presence, and that way NASA can kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. What an ingenious way to announce its presence and not be held responsible for keeping it a secret. But there is still another more obvious problem that must be resolved. How do we tell the public that there is a new solar system with seven orbiting bodies in our backyard without creating pandemonium? The answer is simple. Just tell them that it is 40 light years away from Earth. But how could this system be trillions of miles from Earth and still be seen by infrared cameras and webcams? That couldn't be possible unless of course the system is much closer than what we are being led to believe. As you're probably aware over the last decade there have been many end times predictions. The apocalypse, the return of Planet X, a nuclear holocaust, even an alien invasion. And to date not one prediction has come to fruition. Most of us searching for the truth become disillusioned. We quit getting prepared due to pressure from others, including our own family. We get labeled as having what's been described as the Nibiru pandemic. If things are normal, which at times it seems to be from the outside, then why look for darkness in the midst of the light? It's often hard to understand why these emotions run strong in some people more than in others. The changes to our planet are very subtle and slow, and there are few red flags to raise the alarm bells all at once. The major problem that stands between reality and a false flag is the fake news that floods the web by those whose only purpose is to gain attention. These people are not helping expose the real truth. There are governments that are preparing for a major event, and it does not matter which event it may be. I have doubted myself at times, but then I go back to the basics and look at the increase in the activities that are going on around the world. The massive floods, the volcanic eruptions, the earthquakes, and what is happening in our universe and the planets that surround us. Some of you may follow uh, those more famous so-called experts on Planet X, and after their predictions did not happen, 
then the doubt began to set in. To save face, uh, these experts would reset the clock, and the process would begin anew. Let me say uh, that these experts need to be very careful when making such predictions. They are not helping anyone, and in fact, they are doing harm. That's the very reason I have avoided making any such predictions. There is no one on this planet, including myself, who has the keys to both time and space. That belongs in the hands of a far greater entity. Just for the record, I am not producing these videos for entertainment. I care about others, especially those who depend on my video content to help them in their preparations and for spiritual guidance. And I just hope that I can make people be aware of what's happening to our planet and keep an open mind on what is taking place in our solar system. Be sure to follow the latest updates on the Nibiru Planet X system on our Facebook page. And remember to keep looking to the sky. Welcome back, it's Matt. Time is now uh, 11.37 and it's the 11th of the 4th, 2017. And again, we can see an object on this Taj Mahal, Mexico cam. And I just wanted you to see this, it's very important, because we have our son's twin, the binary twin nemesis that's on the horizon, always is on the horizon now, and we're seeing the huge reflections coming in. I'm going to zoom into uh, this sun's twin you can see this can't you now this huge reflection there is behind that cloud behind the haze and it's been spotted a lot of times now lots of people are noticing the changes in the sky and also as well the changes around the world as well people are panicking the government government is panicking as well the Koreans are setting off uh, nuclear war weapons in the skies and the governments are worried about this and also people acting very strangely as well there's a lot of chaos going out on out there and strange weather patterns as well lots of heavy floods six months to two years of rainfall in one night some parts of the world huge earthquakes happen again the Solomon Islands and other parts of the world as well Chile there's a large one I mean there's some crazy times ahead of us as well and we are changing things are changing drastically every day the whole world is uh, going into a situation now of um, huge changes we are shifting the poles are shifting our Sun the soul it has that object in front of it the solo simulator it really does and these reflections are just not right anymore are they We've got other celestial bodies that are traveling with our sun and also the cloaking technology they're using all the time and NASA needs to be exposed now they really do the news media needs to tell us as again though we're finding out for ourselves we're fending for ourselves this is the only way we're going to get the truth out of the moment and other people doing their channels are doing a grand fantastic job and it's only a short time away this event will happen again early hours of this morning about 2 a.m. and overheard birds getting really agitated outside there was hundreds of birds that were flying around and they were sounding very stressed out now we do get this when we get a solar eclipse with the moon and the Sun but early hours of the morning I looked at the moon it was ever so bright it was too far too bright there is an object that's out there that's not just our Sun that's brightening up the skies as well and we're just going to keep finding the truth and see what's going on 
Here on this screen you can see where they do use that cloaking technology to the left and the right of when the sun rises using that same dark cloud that you see in front of the sun all the time to cover objects that are hidden in plain sight from our eyes the public and we the public just want the truth with this we're also seeing every day on a daily basis strange reflections up there in the skies as well and you can see this chemtrail going through this strange pattern like a rainbow effect we see this every day and these creamy hazy chemtrails we don't see our natural clouds much anymore and other people are reporting this from all over the world Nibiru, Helion and also the uh, the brown dwarf star nemesis and the moons are real celestial objects on an ecliptic orbit and they come round every 3600 years it's been documented the Sumerians and also other civilizations they have documented this from the past Dr. Harrington sadly passed away because of this and also uh, Lloyd Pye and other true believers that have um, researched this right through to knowing that these celestial objects are coming and heading our way of all the, all the changes around the world right now that you can see all the changes that have been reported on news media right now the weather patterns the abrupt climate change the strangers the strangeness of the uh, the climate the volcanic volcanoes that are starting to erupt now multiple earthquakes everything is starting to change the huge red reflections from the inner solar system now that's heading into our skies we're seeing this red haze all the time and these more more multiple chemtrails that chemtrail in our skies all the time as well it's huge evidence that we've got these huge bodies that are coming in now into our inner solar system we was warned back in 1983 but the media slammed it down they shut it down NASA closed it down too they don't want the mass panic they want us to carry on right to the end the tax the payers money is so important to them the banking system is very important to them they are building these underground cities we've all got to never forget about the past with these uh, tablets that were produced many thousands of years ago they knew and they had seen Nibiru they knew their fate was coming they could see it in the skies they didn't have chemtrails and their cities and towns are still proven to this date but buried thousands of miles and also some in Antarctica 25 miles deep military and government are hiding the truth and we really need to expose the government to show that they've been hiding the truth time is got to be now we are natural human beings on this celestial body earth and we have the right to know what's going on because our skies are showing true evidence that they are pulling the wool over our eyes all the time and the Sumerians as I said their tablets were destroyed hidden from the public so it's so important that we uh, acknowledge the truth here's the size of the earth proportion of a coronal hole of the Sun now this is one of the smaller coronal holes and look at the size of the earth in this image I mean one of these huge CMB blasts could easily wipe humanity out easily and this is also why they're uh, digging those uh, burying and also building those underground cities so when one of these huge blasts happen they seem to think that they will be saved there might be a chance of surviving deep down there in the uh, dark cities of underground bases government organized evilness as we have to fend for ourselves on top on our celestial body the earth I mean we have witnessed this watching them watching those channels as they've been closing the Walmarts down 
heavily policed, heavily full of military, guarding them as well, as they bear it, make building them tunnels right through to the Walmarts. I mean, and they use high-speed rail trains as well, getting to and from them with food rations and things. And I mean, they're taking away our food, you know, they're taking away our Walmarts. They've been doing this under our noses for about five to six years now, and they're still carrying on doing this. And I just want to uh, explain the truth, really. So I'm going to do a video again tomorrow. I did another video today, but the sound again was appalling. So I'm going to, hopefully this video is fixed now. So tomorrow I'm going to do another video. So please take care and please prepare for this. And I'll be back shortly from Matt Rogers.